These are the best thermal pastes in 2021. Welcome to PC Guide. Up first is the Arctic MX4. This carbon-based Arctic MX4 thermal paste is one of the least expensive pastes on the market, but it's also considered as more of a mid-range thermal paste and it is not ideal for novices because of its vicious property. As long as you do the application right, there shouldn't be too much of a problem, even if you are a beginner. With a thermal conductivity of 8.5 watts per meter Kelvin and an eight year lifespan once installed, you can almost entirely forget about it and move on with your gaming life. In fact, there's a good chance you will need to replace your CPU before you will need to replace this. Next up is the Noctua NTH1. Whether you're a beginner looking for a thermal paste you can rely on or an advanced builder, you know the Noctua NTH1 has what it takes to give you decent cooling performance. With a thermal conductivity rating of 8.5 watts per meter Kelvin, this ceramic-based thermal compound can keep your temperature down for five years after application. It's also worth noting that this has a three-year shelf life. Finally, we have the most difficult one to pronounce, and I'm going to try and do it first time. It's the Thermal Grizzly Conductor North Liquid Metal Thermal Paste. Now, that was an extremely long sentence, and it's also a paste that is for serious overclockers. With a thermal conductivity rate of 73 watts per meter Kelvin, it's easily the best on the market. This is technically several times better than the rest of the competition. If you're wondering, this does have a very tangible effect. Whilst it might not keep your CPU seven times cooler, it does lower the temperature by as much as 10 degrees Celsius, more than the rest of the pastes on this list. The metal-based thermal paste comes with all the tools needed for installation, and it's also worth noting that you need to thoroughly clean the CPU before you apply the paste to ensure the best performance along the way, and that you must not use it on aluminum heat sinks because this liquid metal thermal cooler can leave black stains on it. Thanks for watching. Links to all the products are in the description down below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section and leave a like if you found this video useful. And I'll see you in the next one.